Hi there, John Ferguson Smart here. A few folk have been asking, and I see it a lot on the internet, what is the best tool to use to identify elements on a page to find the right locator and maybe to copy it into your test script. And there are a few tools out there. There are things like uh, Select Hub, I think, and uh, Cypress has a good one too, uh, where you click on the element and it will generate an XPath or CSS to uh, CSS expression for you that you can just copy into your test script. Now the question is, is that a good idea? My answer is generally not, because generally speaking, if your elements are well designed, if you've got an ID that's sensible, that's readable, if you've got maybe a test attribute of some kind, a, a test data attribute that can uniquely identify the element, then you don't need all those tools. Maybe it will copy the right element, maybe it won't. Maybe it'll just copy a random CSS class, maybe it'll copy a long XPath expression. Really, these tools are very hit and miss. And the reason they are hit and miss is that they do not understand your application. They don't understand the intent behind the structure of your page. And this causes a problem. This means that your code does not understand the intent of your page. Your test code, your, te your automation, merely relies on a random arbitrary location, probably hard-coded, a random selection of XPath or CSS classes or some sort of nested structure, which is even worse. And that can make things very brittle, but above all, that makes things hard to understand and hard to maintain. So here's another way of thinking it. If an element is hard to locate, Think about why it's hard to locate. Think about why it is a problem, why you need to have a complex locator. The general reason is that your application is hard to test. And then you want to think, why is your application hard to test? Can you fix it to make it more testable? I've seen testers struggle for hours coming up with a complicated locator strategy when they could turn around and talk to the developer two meters behind them and get a better locator in the UI itself. I've oftentimes myself, I have intervened in the code, or you do a check out of the application code, do a pull request to put an element, put a, a CSS class or a, a, some sort of identifier in the page itself. You should not hesitate to do that. Do everything you can to make your application more testable before you go and generate random selectors. So my general approach is I don't use or very rarely do I use selectors like that. And I may just use it as a shortcut if I know it's going to produce something predictable, which is what I'll do in Cypress sometimes. But generally speaking, I like to understand the structure of the page and the structure of the element and then decide for myself what the best locator strategy is. It takes a little bit more time up front, but it gives much better, much more stable results in the long time. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for listening, folks.